One of the biggest complaints I get at crawler events is he pulled the vehicle. The DSM, oh, he pulled the vehicle. He's walking the dog. He pulled it with the winch cable because he was pulling it tight and kind of maybe bumped the throttle by accident. So I'm going to host a comp and it's going to be a no winch crawler comp. So follow along, follow along as me, David, and Tom actually test some lines with very different trucks for this exact competition. No winches allowed. Let's get outside. Okay, so we're gonna try Marge. See what we can get here, offset gates and all that wonderful stuff. Okay, Marge looks nice and easy. Good climb there, who's next? See, now you're kind of going to the right. I might block that off. Okay. See if you can, uh, okay. I, I was going to say, see if you can strangle Marge, but see if you can straddle Marge. I, I, I should have paid more attention to what you did. <laughs> All right, so yep, that's a good, that's, that's a good line. So straddling Marge right there. Tom, you're up. I'm ready. These are very different vehicles. I got the Red Cat Ascent. You have a uh, VRD truck and you have an element line okay basically now, homemade homemade <laughs> all right all right so marge is a good one at one time i didn't know anybody who could make it yep. in the beginning yep. i know with the red cats you got to give a little bit of a bump but then you walk right up it so different vehicles different wheel bases and stuff who's next Let's see here now yours has got the stretch wheel base right yeah you might be able to reach right to the top of that peak yep. and pull that. Yep. Easy enough, right there. You guys did it easier than the Red Cat. Okay, this is another one right here that causes a lot of issues with some trucks. Simple, easy. Oh, got it, nice, up. Ooh, that would have been a gate. There you go. All right, as soon as you get that front tires up on it, Give it a good rolling throttle, not full throttle, but a good rolling throttle. Just carry your momentum up. Go. Now I'm thinking fall time for sure because if you have to winch down fall time, you're really doing something wrong. So. Yeah. I, I like that was textbook perfect right there. Like Tom over there is just uh, stuck. really stuck. There you go. I'm a cushion. Nope. No cushion needed. Nice job. All right. Yeah, because you can't have... Oh, I don't know. We'll see. All right, Tom. Wait on you, buddy. We're off. Oh, sorry. I was too busy recording. Oh, I'm turtled. Tom bumped me. Dude, this is going to be awesome. We're going to be racing crawlers. The slowest, most entertaining crawl race ever. All right. See that wheelie? That was raw power. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, overdrive, with, yeah, you can't run overdrive. Man! <laughs> this is probably what's gonna happen to all of our races with these. <laughs> We're gonna end up with bumper cars. I think that's cool, I think. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, did you see that wheelie? I did. Damn. 
<laughs> all right, all right, let's catch Tom. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, we're all good. Uh, David, you got a wire hanging. Yeah, that's my light. Got to practice for the jump to bump. I want to do that little wheelie thing I did. <laughs> oh, you see that? Yeah, this right here could get it. Now, if you can't make these, because you can't use a winch, you can't make it. I'll have to put an additional penalty It's just on a flat there. penalty, but yet you can move it, just move it and keep going. What I'll do is I'll put a missed gate penalty in here. Yeah, okay. There you go, Tom. You got the same idea as me. Sit down for a couple minutes. A lot of people struggle with that. Myself, myself included sometimes. Got it. Now, what I'm looking at here, though, is I'll have to set a gate out here to allow that. I've got a gate right here. Gate hole right, right there. So I, if, if I put a gate right here, I've already got a hole. That would have cleared. That would clear. That would have cleared right there. All right, you guys are up. Hold on this thing. What what are your axles on that? You got a cent, uh, you got a uh, um, element front axle. Um, I'm not even sure what kind of front axle that is. It's a, like a yearling. It's it's all metal. Oh, it's a yearling. Yeah. Oh, like that little deer. Yeah. Okay. Except I'm wondering if I can portal this thing. If I want with You can portal it, yeah, with a, with a set of 103 portals? Yeah. Yeah. You, you may have to adjust your links a little bit. Look at that. He's got it. So now you actually went all the way over to this, so it would actually add a little bit to it. But uh still I think that gate's in a good position though to make it a challenge. Yeah. All I know is when I first named Jack, man, it was pretty much impossible. And now I'm getting it with a red cat driving one-handed. Oh, my wonderful neighbors. Yeah, you know, all that would be legal with the gate being right there. That rear left is climbing. Yeah. That's gonna put you over. Tire up on top here. Yeah, though. as soon as he got his tire onto this right here, he was done. He walked it pretty easy at that point. He had to go further to the left. Yeah, he's gonna roll it right here. All right, try to swing a little bit wider and come up about like this right here and just barely touch that right there and I think it'll be okay. Should I be evil and put reverse penalties? No. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> I won't do that. Try to drive straight with it. <laughs> Try to drive straight. Turn a little straight, Tom. There you go. Oh. Yeah. I don't think that line's gonna work for you. So once we get up hard line, which I don't think I videoed any of that, Tom is trying it. Looks like he's on about the right line. The rear left is a little bit far over. But if he can plant that, Pretty good there, Tom. There you go. Ah, got you. <laughs> that spot, man, it'll get you. Got me. And it don't matter whether you're on portals or straights right there. It will grab you. Yep. So, but hey, we know that's doable, so that's, that's in. Doable. Yeah, that's in.
think my steering has come loose. Yeah, something's on the loose side there, buddy. All right, so then we drop down into this. Which isn't hard. And then I want to bring us up. I'm kind of thinking, probably not right there, but get a good hard, oh, my battery's dead. All right, with the battery in, take a hard turn right up through here. All right, that's easy enough, but I want to go across the pipes this time. Across the pipes. I can't wait to race these things on the track. That's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> you know what would be their best truck, I think, for the track? A TRX4 with that two speed transmission. Dude, you can two speed that thing. All right, you gotta be careful right there, you're gonna break something. Your front axle is down into it. One thing I haven't practiced on, I always go around. <laughs> yeah. Watch, see what the secret is here. If there is one. Ah. Not bad. Now yours is a different track width. You're a little bit wider up front, but the rear should be about the same width. No, went. No, 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 no. When you're, when you're in it, you're wedged. Try to bring it over to this side, this pipe right over here. Put the right side up on it. There you go. You just kind of stay to the left side. See if that'll work for you. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, I was watching that. Oh, I was watching that. <laughs> yeah, that rear right looked like yeah. it was about to get under. Yeah, was... In addition to the driving you just saw, we did a lot of driving. Now, granted, we had fun on the track. Okay, I, ha I had to throw that in there because that was just fun. But we did quite a bit of driving off camera as well. And I've got some really nice trail loops to set up. So when I get all this course set up, I'm going to come back again. I might use a Red Cat Ascent again. I really like this truck for this kind of driving. Use this vehicle right here to test every line, every course. So I think it's going to be a good thing. No winches allowed. Guys, have a great day. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part, channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.